the NSU Spider debuted at the 1963 Frankfurt Motor Show. It caused something of a commotion. NSU announced it would start production within a year, with a planned three to 5,000 units annually. Loving attention to detail made it an instant classic. The Spider listed at an impressive 8,500 Deutschmarks, or some 4,200 euros. But once the initial uproar had died down, the two-seater convertible was widely ignored by the German market. After months of delay, in September 1964, NSU raffled off the first one off the assembly line to an employee. The fuel tank and radiator were mounted in front, the engine in back. That gave the engineers an optimal weight distribution. The engine's small size allowed for a second trunk space, a unique feature at the time. Humming underneath almost like a turbine was the 50 horsepower Wankel engine. Armin Bauder was assigned to work on the rotary engine in NSU's R&D division. He has fond memories of the project and the advantages of the rotary concept. In the mid-1950s, NSU had already designed its KKM engine with a static housing based on Felix Wankel's original DKM rotary engine design in a spinning housing. But the engine that was to carry the Wankel name performed noticeably better. Armin Bauder explains that the virtue of the Wankel engine is its smooth circular motion. In a reciprocating piston engine, the movement carries over to the entire vehicle. That was the charm of the rotary engine. You couldn't feel the vibration. You just set out and the engine purred along like an electric motor. The lower combustion pressure resulted in more efficient performance. Plus, at the time, reciprocating pistons were somewhat weaker than they are now. That was another key selling point for the rotary piston. And NSU had high hopes for the Wankel engine. Armin Bauder remembers it well. The designer suggested building a roadster with it. Because the engine was so small, it could be rear-mounted. So the car would have trunk space in front and room for another storage space over the engine and back. That's the design Spider went ahead with. It was the first car that went into series production with a Wankel engine. The engine was extremely high revving and, compared to other small engines, very smooth. Revolutions above 6,000 per minute were no problem, from the mechanical standpoint. But over longer periods, the cooling system couldn't keep up. The Spider could run from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 14 and a half seconds. Unlike the NSU RO80, the Spider had a 500cc single rotor Wankel engine with fuel consumption rated at 10 liters per 100 kilometers. It all seemed so promising. NSU set out to write automotive history. But it just didn't work. The apex seals on the combustion chambers kept wearing out. For some time, NSU was very obliging when it came to fixing the many problems, but the car's image suffered. The original goal of 5,000 spiders per year soon proved utopian. In the first year of production, NSU sold only 151 units. By comparison, 1965 was a good year with 923 sales. By the time the production was halted in 1967, only 2,375 spiders had been sold. Today, it's a rarity, and the fact that it's the world's first series-produced car with a Wankel engine makes the Spider a highly sought-after collector's item. A good condition Spider will put a serious dent in your bank account. Restoring a Spider can easily exceed the cost of a new car. Tracking down parts is like a treasure hunt, with no guarantee you'll ever find what you're looking for. Only about 450 Spiders still exist today. <laughs>